Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Modern Metal Production. Today we're going to focus on how to set up and use Superior Drummer's multi-output to maximize the quality and tone of the kit. Many producers, whether they produce on the professional level or on a home recording level, rely on realistic drum samples to get their mix to where they want it. Unfortunately, not everyone has access to the best drum kits, mics, or analog gear, and that makes it hard to compete with the pros out in the industry. Luckily for us, ToonTracks has made this amazing virtual drummer plugin called Superior Drummer, which has tons of realistic samples of different drum kits. After hours of playing with Superior Drummer, I started to realize that many songs that I find on the internet use similar identical samples of Superior in their songs as well. And to me, having that drum sound that sounds like Superior Drummer just sounds bad. My goal in this tutorial is to help you understand and realize the amount of variety you have with this plugin and hopefully you'll develop your own drum sound with these tips. So to start off, you're going to want to load Superior Drummer into your software instrument. So to do this in Logic, you just click on this plus sign, go to Software Instrument, Create One, go into Instruments, and go to Tune Track, Superior, and you're going to want to click on this multi-output. So for now, just close um, Superior and open up your mixer, and you're going to find this positive and negative sign right here. You're going to want to press this positive sign to create some new tracks. I usually add six other channels for the kit. So you're gonna to wanna to open Superior Drummer again, and you're gonna to wanna to go to your mixer, and from there, you wanna check your outputs, and you're gonna want these to match up with the outputs on Logic right here, which uh, you just made. An easier way to do this is, you go, you can highlight them all, right click and create a new track, and they'll all show up right here for you. Then we can just name this, snare, Bass drum, tom, right, tom, high hats, overheads, and room. You can always change this up depending on how many outputs you want from Superior. So from there, you're going to want to match the outputs of Superior into the outputs of Logic. So my bass drum is output 3 and 4. So you go kick 3 and 4, 3 and 4. Four, snare drum is up, is the main output, so that's output one and two. One two, la la. la. Hats is output nine and ten, so you go output nine and ten. Uh, I have two toms set up for right now for uh, superior. I usually only record with two toms, just because that's what my live kit is like. So I'll just put this to. Output 5 and 6, which is the same as the toms. And then the floor tom would be 7 and 8. Go over to your overheads, do the same thing. You're going to want to make sure that you have them right. 11 and 12. 11 and 12. And then finally, your room mic will be 13 and 14 right here. So I'm just going to create a quick drum track for you and you, I'll show you guys um, how it works. Okay, so I've created a quick MIDI track for this uh, drums and I'll show you how this works. Notice that it's not just coming out of the main input of Superior, but now it's coming through all the different outputs that we created before. I usually send all these tracks into a separate buses for the drums and then tie those buses into two main drum tracks. Having multiple outputs designated to different drums allow for more variety than Superior's stock plugins. You can now use your own plugins in the track and mix according to how you want the drums to sound. As an example, I'll show you what I typically do for live and Superior drums. So here you can see that I've routed each one of these into separate buses over here. You'll notice on the snare and bass drum that I have two extra buses right here. Those are routed into a snare and uh, bass drum trigger bus. From there I have the snare dry and snare trigger track routed out into one snare bus. Same with the bass drum right here. 
And then from there, I have those routed out into a dry drum track and a parallel compression drum track. I also sometimes route them out into a main drum track, and this just helps control the overall levels of the drums without having to change each fader right here. You aren't limited to the amount of tracks and buses you can use, so you can also route these out to a reverb track later. And here's a quick mix of how the Superior Drummer Kit sounds now with all a little bit of mixing. I typically only use Superior Drummer for writing music. I also process Superior's samples to help me get a better perspective on how the end product will sound for my mix. Superior is an extremely powerful writing tool for me and is also perfect for home producers who may be limited to their equipment, room size, or noise restriction. Other great software instruments to keep in mind and do similar things to Superior are BFD, Slate Drums, and Addictive Drummer. I'd like to thank you guys for watching another episode of Modern Metal Productions. I'd like to point out that I'm more than welcome to taking uh, questions and making videos out of them. So either shoot me a message or comment in the comment section below and request a video on a certain subject. But until then, happy mixing guys. Peace.